That is my opponent's style and it certainly suits me. I've come in a champion and I'm going to go out a champion. This is the greatest moment of my life and my mum and dad's going to be proud of me. And welcome back to the match for the British lightweight title. This is Kid McCoy, the challenger. Kid McCoy of Keekley, Yorkshire, and 11 stone exactly. Shaking hands with our MC, John Curry, and the referee, Ken Joyce. And here's the champion, Steve Gray, from Peckham, South East London, also at 11 stone, the British lightweight champion. And this is what this eight, three minute round contest is all about here this afternoon. Can Kid McCoy, with his lack of experience, get the title from this man? The second championship contest at this lunchtime is for the British lightweight championship and belt to be wrestled over eight three-minute rounds, two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide the winner. Introducing in the red corner, the challenger from Keighley in Yorkshire, will you welcome Kit McCoy! <laughs> In the blue corner, the British lightweight champion from Peckham in London, Steve Gray. <laughs> and the referee for this contest, the former European welterweight champion from Rushton, Ken Joyce. Well, Ken McCoy, the 17 year old from Keighley, a little ambitious to come up against in a title bout a man of Steve Gray's experience but a uh, nice looking lad and of course the son of the well-known uh, heavy middleweight King Ben so he's had tremendous training also of course Marty Jones Jim Away for round one. Here we go for round one, and Steve Gray, the champion, has held this British lightweight title most of the time for several years now. He's lost it occasionally, but won it back again. Will he lose it again here this afternoon against the 17-year-old from Yorkshire? This this boy, the 17-year-old Mark McCoy, Kid McCoy, is known from Keithley is a tremendous young prospect, but whether he's ready for <laughs> trying to get a title of the man of grace ability, I don't know. We'll see over the next eight three-minute rounds with two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide the winner here. will have very little to do here as, as far as uh, even a private warning is concerned because for well, years I've known him I've never seen uh, Steve Gray foul not intentionally if he does he apologizes profusely and makes us all believe he didn't mean it and McCoy won't dare use any risky stuff against Gray at his age or you'll get it back so it should be a very very clean very fast moving fight when this gets going. The uninitiated, Steve Gray in his usual shock of black hair plus the blue elbow protectors, black trunks, and silver boots, which he always wears. Just a minute to go. And that's what happens to a kid when he comes too near trying a folding press on Steve Gray. The 
30 seconds while I'm gone. McCoy at least doing his fair share of attacking so far. Well, just about make it before the bell. Yes, there's just a couple of seconds left. Mark Kid McCoy from Keith Lee Yorkshire. He's 18 in November of this year. So he's still quite well into the 17 year old battle. First time we saw him was June 86 in a tag match with his father, King Ben. But we've seen him several times since, and he's improving each time. Seconds away, round two. Round two, seven to go, no score. Two falls to the side, this one. McCoy <laughs> <laughs> apologizes to Ken Joyce. Nobody will get me away with that one. Henry McCoy's weight won't worry Ken Joyce too much. And as long as it doesn't interfere with his golf swing, it won't worry at all. Fanatic golfer Ken. Eight handicap. A lot of wrestlers and ex-wrestlers like Ken Joyce. Yes, Mick McManus is one of them, actually. But uh, he's quite a good golfer. <laughs> Coy begging for a double finger interlock there. Steve, Steve Gray didn't want to know at all. Goes for the foot instead. Double handed toe hold with a knee stroke. A hand in the left knee of McCoy. McCoy thinking of trying to spring. Oh, he's going to try his rope trick. And he springs it nicely. And <laughs> great. <laughs> Not too sure about that one. I think you've seen that one too often. But of course, it did no harm because McCoy couldn't follow it up quickly enough. Just a minute left in round two. Well, holding the arm nicely against the joint with a double-handed wrist lever. Let's watch Steve's get out. Oh, <laughs> so easy. Oh. What a counter move. Didn't really see him grab the it's uh, left wrist then. Nicely out by McCoy. Hello up head mayor. That's very ready for that one. Oh, goes in very fast with the head. Just eight seconds now. One, two. Steve Gray has not only held the British lightweight crown for quite a time, but also the British World Away Championship he held for a while. The boy who uh, still is associated with boys clubs, this ex-amateur boxer, now one of the top wrestlers in the lightweight bracket. Seconds away, round three. Probably in the world, let alone in this country. Round three, six to go, no score. Ray the champion, black trunks, black hair. Oh, 
Hickman. And Gray just waiting there for him to come away from the corner. And this time, Corey waiting for it beautifully. Beautifully done. Uh, oh, he got a count of two pinfall then. Oh, dear, that was close. And even Gray blows his cheeks out as if to say, he's nearly caught them, but not quite. Very good effort by McCoy. Steve Gray, of course, renowned for his surfboards. <laughs> McCoy is even thinking of trying one, I think, but because he hasn't got the feet right at all. It's just got a folded one leg over the other, or not even really a figure four. No, Gray, I think, uh, I can't see the kid trying a surfboard on Steve Gray. He's the master of it. Just a minute left, round three. Still no real pinfall chance, except that one against the champion. Now, step over Toho, Gray. Gray going for the figure four leg lock now. The bar. With his right leg. And here goes Steve Gray for the first submission if he can get. And the lead, oh. He's only got eight seconds. Can Gray got time to try it again? Or the bell will help the kid. Steve Gray was just going to try that lean back again. But uh, the bell just came at exactly the right moment for his opponent on that occasion. Six away, round four. Round four, five rounds to go and still no score in this title match, British lightweight title and belt. Held by Steve Gray of Peckham, South East London, and challenged by Kid McCoy of Keithley, Yorkshire, in the all white leotard. No. Referee Ken Joyce. No. No. Oh, yes, the flying tackle by Gray. Over the top, cross press, and throw. Oh. Nicely out of it. And Gray still got the upper hand here until the... Oh, oh double Nelson. Folding press. Maybe, and still Gray going. And still inside the ropes. Oh, just lost the chance there. Gray ran out of map. And a couple of minutes left in the fourth. Gray really determined then to continue until he got that pinfall, but he didn't make it yet. But time yet. In this fourth round. Well, unless he can get a submission, he'll never score from this, so therefore he must turn his man back to canvas if he can. Try for a pinfall count. Klein. Oh, Gray didn't mean to release that. And McCoy a bit worried about that left leg. Backing away. He's trying to keep it back out of the way as long as he can. Double finger in the lock. And 
the perfect rustless bridge by Gray, and of course this the kid has not sufficient weight to try and break that, I'm sure. <laughs> and the single foot is on throw, but the folding press Gray, but out of it, with plenty of time by the kid. Twenty-five seconds left, round four. And Gray feigning a single leg Boston then. Gets halfway and does one of his own speciality moves, which has the same effect. And it, it affected that left leg earlier on in this round. So he's trying it again. He's got a hurry. He's got just five seconds to go. This kid, a bit worried about that uh, left leg of his in that round twice. Doesn't seem to be paying too much attention to it now. Anyway, this boy was trained by not only his father, but King Ben, but also Marty Jones in his own gym way up in Oldham there. What a future he's got. Seconds away, round five. Halfway through the bout, and still no score. Remarkably, Steve Gray's been near it on two or three occasions, cannot get a result so far. So, kid doing very well indeed. gone halfway with no score. I really would have bet anything on Steve Gray getting a fall by now at least. Oh yes. <laughs> there he goes this boy. And he's trying to cross press on Gray, the champion. And he's got it. I think he's got it. He's got it. Wow. <laughs> and Steve Gray, I hardly wait to see that again. Steve Gray just can't believe it. But let's see what happens here. This is really something. Gray goes to the ropes, confidently coming back underneath his man. Goes for the arm, but it misses it completely. The kid grabs him, grabs the left leg quickly on that folding press, and that's it. What a remarkably quick, beautifully done fall. In the fifth round, the first fall of the contest goes to the red corner, the challenger, Kid McCoy. <laughs> And it just took him 58 seconds to get that first fall in round five. Three to go, though. Seconds away for round six. And Steve Gray won't like this too much. I don't think I've ever seen him trail. He's certainly not in a title fight. But he's trailing now against a 17-year-old with practically no experience. He turned pro in March 86. And Gray, of course, turned pro in the early 70s. I mean, this is quite a turn up, this one. If the kid can do it again, that will be something to see. But I don't think Gray will allow it. And a straight arm left. And that won't done Gray's left shoulder much good. He's already trailing by one and L. Steve Gray started this round off a little wee bit anxious there. I don't think he expected this bout to give him too much problem. But when he hadn't scored in the first four rounds, and then when there was a score, it was by his opponent, that might have really surprised him. This time, he's Gray waiting for him, but couldn't do what he wanted to, couldn't counter it. Not what the kid intended, and it certainly wasn't what Gray intended. Nice knee drop by McCoy. Now, this time he falls. 
Tells his man, oh, Billy. Very little of the equalizer there to Gray. So still, Kid McCoy in white. Still leading the champion, one four to nil. As we have one minute left in the round six. And Gray continuing with this pressure move of his, hoping for a submission equalizer. He can't get it, so he's trying to surfboard. This is the one that Gray really specializes at. The surfboard backbreaker. He's got the legs right. The kid knows it. He's trying to keep the arms forward. There's no way he can prevent those arms from getting back into Steve's clutches there. Now he wants the left one. Can he get that left arm? The right one is set. He hasn't got time. He's got six seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And for the third time, Steve Gray has got one of his special moves on and the bell saves his opponent. He'll just have to try it a little bit earlier. Steve Gray, the champion, still trading one to nil, right there. Surfboard almost completed and the bell prevented him from getting that equalizing submission that he needs now so badly, only two rounds to go. The kid, he must be still happy leading. Second clear the ring for round seven. Rather amazed but happy about leading over a man like Steve Gray. Now, in order to give himself a chance at uh, winning and therefore retaining his title, lightweight title here this afternoon. Now this time he was waiting for it. He saw that coming and he said he's not going to get away with that twice. And now the kid's gone down and this could be the end. No, no, he's up, he's up, loosely. In trouble, but up. But he's got to continue. He had real back weakness there as he landed then. Now Gray must go for the equalizer in this round in order to give himself a chance for the winner in the next one. And now he's going for his surfboard again, Steve Gray. He's got much more room this time and much more time. And there it is, the equalizing submission. In round seven. Finally, Gray equalizes with the submission. Let's see how the kid hurt his back. He tried his rope trick, as is fast becoming known as his own rope trick, hoping that Gray would come underneath, but this time Gray dodged, and he goes all the way back, landing from that top rope onto his back. And that's what caused, really, the equalizing submission in the seventh round. One round to go. Can the kid hold on here? In the seventh round, the equalizer submission of the contest goes to the blue corner, the champion, Steve Gray! <laughs> Second straight ring for the eighth and final round. Here we go, eighth and final round, and now, of course, Steve Gray can retain his title here this afternoon. Mind you, of course, if he does, if it is a draw, this, he still retains his title. Gray, but he'd rather do it more convincingly than that. Can the kid still stay with him after that terrible back landing on his back that we saw in the last round? He doesn't like the idea of coming forward too fast, and who blames him? Gray is going to go straight for back weakness if he can there. Single leg Boston is one of them. Gray will be after a surfboard all the way through this last three months. And Kid McCoy knows it. Nicely, double leg Nelson gets a counter one only. 
Leg chop sends him away. A couple of minutes left in this bout. And Gray on the attack again. There it is. The surfboard is attempted once more. And doesn't the kid know about it? He's trying to reach that bottom rope. The right leg is just about set. Right arm is there. The crowd, as you saw, the kids can't bear to watch this kid, whether he'll get up from this or not in time. No, Gray is going to release him. Can't reach the left arm, and therefore Gray releases. He has plenty of time in this round, this final round, too. He's got a whole minute to go. But uh, for some reason, he got the wrong position. He couldn't quite get the surfboard right, not the way he wanted it. So he released. But to the start, effective, but it uh, won't be a weakness sufficient to worry this kid at the moment. Flying tackle, kid. It's a two, but again the left gets it. McCoy landing on Ken Joyce's back three times in this bout so far. 25 seconds to go, final round. Again, the single leg bossing. Uh, Gray's speciality move, which is almost like a single person. He's got 15 seconds. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. He's too late. It's a draw, but of course, Gray retains his title. comes the belt. Ken Joyce laying it round. Steve Gray who still retains it after the draw. After eight rounds of an excellent fought championship contest, each wrestler scoring one fall apiece, the referee's decision, it's a draw. Technify and still British lightweight champion Steve Gray. Still the British lightweight champion. There it is. It's goodbye from all of us here at Broxbourne. We hope you've enjoyed it. Next Saturday, a tag team knockout tournament. That should be something. Till then, have a good week. Till next week.